seemingly just a little bit here. A gulf beginning to open in six. Well, you mentioned earlier that Padilla likes to be up near the front and uh, perhaps a little bit uncharacteristically trailing now by as much as, oh, 20 meters. Now striding back up there, Padilla trying to gain, regain contact now as he moves back up into the single file Indian approach here that the runners are using. The race is beginning to split open here. The 415 mile taking its pace on the second pack. Cummings now in second. Alberto doing all the work. That's the most difficult chore. But because of his lack of speed, he is relegated to having no other option. A mile and a half, six minutes and 23 seconds. If you're a jogger out there or an athlete or a basketball player who thinks that you're really in shape, I'd encourage you, if you feel fit, to go down to your local high school track and try and run one lap around that track in 64 seconds. And if you can, that's how fast these guys are running for over three miles. Conditions yourself first so we don't spawn any heart attacks. Yeah, exactly. I, condition, I, I threw out the conditions, the stipulations there. If you're not in excellent shape and you're not a serious jogger or a basketball player, don't attempt even that. If you want to get a flavor of what it's like, Pete, run half a lap in 32 <laughs> seconds. Less than six laps remaining in the men's 5,000 meters. It continues to be Alberto Salazar in the lead. By a step over Paul Cummings. Ralph King, formerly of the University of North Carolina, a 13.23, only eight seconds off uh, Marty LaCorey's 1977 American record that he set at the World Cup Championships representing the United States is in third place. King has run 340 for 1,500 meters this year. That translates to a 357 mile. He's fit and ready. We're down to the precious four right now. As the song says, it dwindles to a precious few. Central Butts, you see him at the left of your screen, now disappearing in fourth. Doug Padilla dropping further back in fifth place. A good 25 meters off the pace of Alberto Salazar. Cummings looks excellent to me out there in second place. He looks comfortable as we go past the halfway stage of the race. King running well, and Matt running, in my opinion, well within himself right now. He looks very good. Alberto carrying the load. You can hear the crowd in the background here, and they will pick up, believe me, as we approach the end of this race. We're not there yet, but as this race moves on, we'll hear more and more from this highly educated crowd. Right on American record pace, Alberto Salazar. We're at 849, 850 right now. Salazar coming. Ralph King. Centralist. And it's really, it's a four-man race completely now. Doug Padilla, I'm looking for him. He has dropped way back uh, as far as 10th place, I believe. Padilla defeated Alberto indoors at the uh, Milrose Games in the, the fabulous 5,000 meter the race that they had there where Salazar was out to crack his own world record and surprised everybody, although he's got enormous talent. Their time by the two-mile mark unofficially Eight minutes and 32 seconds. The pace slowing down off the first mile to a 4.17 second mile. So they've got to maintain at least this pace and have something left. I think Centrowitz looks excellent. It's my opinion he's got a kick left from simply studying his form and his action over the years. I would have to agree with you just, again, uh, observing the running styles and the ease with which all of the four are running. And Centrowitz really does look well within himself, to use a trite expression. But perhaps the most graphic one. Pete, what just happened there was interesting. Alberto's checking around now. The race, in many ways, is really on here. He looked around, he's put a surge on, and he's tried to pick up the pace. He knows he's got to start working now if he's unsuccessful in opening up a gap between the three runners behind him and the next two laps, he's dead. The strategy begins to unfold. Three laps remaining, less than three laps remaining. It is Salazar, it is Cummings, it is Centrowitz now in third, it is King in fourth. And the crowd now has caught on and are responding. This is desperation time for the man in the lead. He may look comfortable, he keeps looking around. There's another glance. He knows and he's struggling now to try and pick up this pace. He's in trouble and he knows it. He's still got three people hanging on desperately. All three of them know what they have to do behind him. Cummings, 
Centrowitz and King know all they have to do is they've got to hold on to Alberto, and with that, they'll be able to all kick him. If I were going to make a guess here, I would make a guess that Centrowitz is going to be the guy to make the first move here. Well, you know, Paul Cummings is excellent speed, miling speed. It, it will be a fine finish if the two of them decide to duke it out. Two laps remaining. The world record is 13-6-20. That belongs to Henry Runno, sent last year. The American record is what they're really shooting at, 13-15-06. We'll see if they can do it. As Salazar now begins to pick up the pace. Here's Look at the, this. Here's the move I spoke of. There's that crowd on their feet on the backstretch. They'll be standing for the last two laps here. Alberto desperately trying to. He has broken King. He's now broken Cummings. He's got with a half mile to go. He put on his surge. There's Matt tucking right in behind Alberto. Let's see if the other runners can pull back up on top of him. Cummings struggling to get back up with the other three. King is holding on for dear life here as they come around to just having more than a lap and a quarter to go. Salazar with a check over his left shoulder. Centrowitz does the same to see where everybody is. And here we go. We're getting ready for the last one. Pete Centrowitz is going to need a kick to break this American record of 13-15. The pace is let down just a little bit. Let's see who's got something left. Alberto trying to pump his arms and lift again. Salazar and Centrowitz followed by King. And it's looking right now like a two-man race. Let's Salazar, listen to the crowd. Look at the people along the inside of the track. Here comes okay. Centrowitz. There goes Matt. He's got to lift it all the way now. He wants desperately Marty LaCorey's record. Centrowitz thought he had it indoors this year, and he fell apart in the very race he intended to break the record on. Watch him. He tends to build up and build his momentum, coming up to three miles. The former Oregonian, Matt Centrowitz, appears to have this one. The lead is about 10 meters now over Alberto Salazar. The folks here come to their feet, and now it's a race against the clock. It's going to be close. He's going to be within one second of this American record. Let's see if he can do it. Listen to this crowd. Cheer him on. 30 meters from the finish. One last look. For the fourth time, Matt Citrowitz has won the 5,000 meters at the Prefontaine Classic. And a man who may have already stuck under that record, Alberto Salazar, in second. Ralph King ran the race of his life in third. 13-12-7, the unofficial time, which would be a new American record by almost three seconds. By that man right there, on the left of your screen, on the right of a tired Alberto Salazar, Matt Centrowitz. Well, there is a, a healthy respect for those runners. Boy, those people. There's the back stretch, and that's the place I, I thought, really, I didn't have a chance to say it, but I thought Matt would make his move on that back stretch. Unofficially, from Matt Centrowitz, who just took the lead, his last lap was 57 and 9 tenths of a second. An excellent last quarter by Alberto, who must have been close to 60 seconds. That's the move. There was 300 yards to go then. Savoring sweet victory, returning home, if you will, to the place that has afforded him honors in running. Matt Centrowitz, now the assistant coach at St. John's University. 27-year-old Matt Centrowitz breaks the American record that has been stood for five years that was set in the World Cup by Marty LaCorey at 13 minutes, 15, and 6 tenths of a second. The crowd on its feet in the backstretch, affording both of these outstanding runners. 10,600. And nobody is going home. They stay for the last hurrah, this being the last event of the afternoon and evening here at Hayward Field in Eugene, Oregon. And they stayed around for that one last salute to the winner, Matt Centrowitz. He told me this past winter that he was ready to try and break the 5,000 indoors, and he had a poor indoor season. We'll return to Eugene, Oregon, the Prefontaine Classic, in a moment. 